The Go Green Needham Expo on November 10th is for anyone looking to help the environment. It'll feature discussions about how to become a net zero home, food sustainability, and climate change. There'll also be 30 to 40 vendors available to answer any of your questions, plus food and musical entertainment. The expo was hosted by the Green Needham Collaborative and the League of Women Voters of Needham. Here's more on the upcoming event. Go Green Needham Expo is an event we're having at Needham Town Hall on November 10th. It's open to all Needham residents, um, businesses, organizations as well. Uh, and it's our attempt to both celebrate what we've done as a town already to address climate change, lowering our carbon footprint, as well as to inspire people to do more. One of the features of the Go Green Expo is we're going to have a series of presentations downstairs in Town Hall. And those are uh, one of the ones I'm involved in is uh, fighting climate change at the state level. And we'll have three people who work on legislation and action at the state level, including our own representative, Denise Garlick, and representatives from two other organizations. And they're going to talk about what the state can do. Most of the expo, of course, is what we can do as a community and as individuals. And that's really what we're after. In addition to the tables we'll have upstairs, we're going to have a number of activities outdoors. So they'll be able to um, test drive electric vehicles. They'll be able to test ride electric bikes. Um, they'll also be able to take, uh, take a whirl with some of the electric power tools, gardening equipment um, from one of the local vendors in town. We really want families to come to the expo and we have some activities for our kids, including solar cars, and making music from junk. And the one I have here to show you today, which is creating your own worm composting farm. So it looks like this when it's done, which I know doesn't look like much, but that's because worms are nocturnal. So the sheath goes on last. So this is made with a two liter bottle And what the, uh, what the children will do is pick out what they want to put in for the worms to eat. And, and as the worms eat, uh, they form uh, this rich compost. And you can look through, it's clear, and see the worms. There's one right there. And um, eventually this will all turn into uh, compost, which can be taken out and used in the garden. The students will learn about worm composting and uh, recycling, and they may even convince their parents to make a larger worm farm. My hope is that people, uh, groups, businesses, uh, find at least five things that they think they can do. And they can be very small things, um, changes that they can make in their daily lives that could actually have an impact on addressing climate change and reducing their carbon footprints. Um, and I hope they find also that it's pleasant um, actually, in some cases, like driving an electric car can be a lot of fun. Um, and I also feel like they might see, um, I'd, like to see I'd like them to see that it's also beneficial to their pocketbook. Um, so both fun and, and economically beneficial. We're looking forward to seeing everybody there on Saturday, November 10th from 10 to 4 at the Needham Town Hall.